Okay, boys and girls, let's get ready for uh, math, chapter six, lesson three. The materials you need for today's lesson are your days of the week list, your months of the year list, a counting chart to 120, workbook pages 105 and 106, and RW35 and CW35, independent practice. The standard for the lesson is the student will use addition and subtraction within 20 to solve word problems involving situations of adding to, taking from, putting together, taking apart, and comparing with unknowns in all positions by using objects, drawings, and equations with a symbol for the unknown number to represent the problem. The student will apply properties of operations as strategies to add and subtract, and the student will fluently add and subtract within 10. Our essential question says, how can subtraction practice increase my fat fluency? Every day we say, the more we practice, the better we get. Okay. Let's look at our problem of the day. This is a special math machine. What's going to happen to 5 if you put it in this machine? What's going to come out? Well, first we need to study what we, what we already have to figure out what should go right here. All right, if you put in a 2, then a 5 comes out. If you put in a 4, a 7 comes out. If you put in a 3, a 6 comes out. So now we have to figure out, if you put in a 5, what's going to come out? Well, how in the world are we going to do that? Let's see how much we had to go up from 2 to get to 5. So put 2 in your hand and shake it and say 2. Now count up and stop when you get to 5. 3, 4, 5. How many did you have to count up? You had to count up 3. All right, so I'm going to put a little 3 right here. All right, let's start with four and count up to seven. Put four in your hand and shake it and say four. Count up to seven. Four, five, six, seven. How many did we have to count up? We had to count up three. All right, if we have three, then we have to count up to six. Put three in your hand and count up. Here we go. Three, four, five, six. How many did we count up? We counted up three. All righty, now let's look at what we got. Each time we had to count up three to get what comes out. So what do you think we're going to do down here? How many will we count up from here to get the number that comes out? Well, we've counted up three all these other times. I think we're going to count up three again. Put five in your hand and count up. Five, six, seven, eight. So what's going to come out? Eight. Now, this sort of goes with today's lesson, okay? So, the reason that we know what's going to happen to 5 is because we checked what happened to all the others. So, we knew that we had to add 3 to all these numbers to make these numbers come out. So, we had to add 3 to this number to make this number come out. Okay. Take out your days of the week list and let's read it. Get ready. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days in a week. Five of them are weekdays. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are weekdays. And Saturday and Sunday are considered the weekend. See, it's on this end and this end of the list. So that's considered the weekend. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are weekdays. Okay? Now, let's look at our months of the year list. Read with me. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. How many months are in a year? Twelve. There are twelve months in a year, seven days in a week. Okay, let's take a look at our calendar. All right, now I've already got today's calendar piece up. So what's the month? Tell me what month it is. It starts with N-O. November. Let's clap it. November. Three claps, three syllables. November. 
All right. So the day of the week is um, right up here from the number that we put up today. So what day of the week is today? Today is th th Thursday. Today is Thursday. So let's put that up here. Today is Thursday. Begin with a capital letter. November 19, 2020. That's the last two digits of the year. If today is Thursday, what was yesterday? Yesterday was Wednesday. If yesterday was Wednesday and today's Thursday, what's tomorrow going to be? Tomorrow will be Friday. Okay. Now let's write the date using numbers. November is the 11th month. It's the 19th day of the month. And the year is 2020. We write the last two digits of the year. Now, repeat after, it, after me. Today is Thursday, November 19th, 2020. Once more. Today is Thursday, November 19th, 2020. Uh, oh, I told you something yesterday during the social study uh, slash reading lesson about when Thanksgiving is. We said that Thanksgiving is the fourth Thursday in November. Okay, let's look. This is Thursday. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Here's the third one. This will be the fourth one. Let me put it. This will be the fourth Thursday. Well, let's just write the numbers in so we'll know what the date of um, Halloween, what the date of Thanksgiving will be. All right, today's the 19th. Tomorrow will be the 20th. Saturday will be the 21st. Sunday will be the 22nd. Monday will be the 23rd. Tuesday will be the 24th. Wednesday will be the 25th. Uh, Thursday will be the 26th. So, the fourth Thursday in November, first one, second one, third one, fourth one, is going to be November 26th. That is going to be Thanksgiving. That's the date for Thanksgiving. Now, next year, it won't be necessarily on December. Uh, it won't necessarily be on November 26th. It might be on the 27th or the 25th. Okay, but it's the fourth Thursday in November. So we just count down. This is the first one, this is the second one, this is the third one, this is the fourth one. Okay, um, what if I said um, I had a birthday party to go to on the second Saturday of the month? What was the date I went to the birthday party? All right, well, here's Saturday. This is the first Saturday. This is the second Saturday. What was the date of the second Saturday? November 14th. Okay? If I had a doctor's appointment on the third Monday in November, when would my doctor's appointment be? You come to Monday and you count. That's the first one. That's the second one. That's the third one. So my doctor's appointment would have been on November 16th. Okay? Maybe I needed to go to the dentist on the first Wednesday of the month. Fine Wednesday. Come to the first block underneath it. November 4th would be the first Wednesday of the month. Okay? We'll work on this some more. This is an important thing to do because you need to be able to um, keep up with your appointments. Things that you need to do. Places you need to be. So that's a, an important reason for us to know how to use the calendar. All right, let's do the doubles wrap. Here we go. It's the doubles, baby. Let's go, let's go. It's the doubles, baby. And we start with zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Oh, one plus one is two. Ooh, two plus two is four. More. Three plus three is six. Kicks. Four plus four is eight. That's great. Five plus five is ten. Again, six plus 
plus 6 is 12. That's 12. 7 plus 7 is 14. Let's lean. 8 plus 8 is 16. Really keen. 9 plus 9 is 18, jelly bean. 10 plus 10 is 20. That's plenty. Okay. All right, now let's get ready to count. Take out your 120 chart, and let's count to 100. is 25 plus 1. What's 25 plus 1? The very next number. 26. If you're on 25 and you want to know what's 1 less than 25, it's 25 minus 1. Go back. 25 minus 1 is 24. So 24 is 1 less than 25. 26 is 1 more than 25. Let's practice another one. Okay, let's do... Four. Okay? 
What is the number that is one more than four? That means four plus one. One more means count up. Five. What's the number that's one less than four? That means count back one. Three. Three is one less than four. Five is one more than four. Okay. Let's look at our um, number pattern here and figure out what's missing. 24, 25, blank, blank, 28. All right, what do you think comes next? This one ends with four and ends with five. I bet this one's gonna end with six. They both begin with two. Look, I think we're counting up one. 24, 25 is one more than 24. 26 is one more than 25. 27 is one more than 26, and 28 is one more than 27. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. We count it up by ones. Okay, now let's take a look at this. This looks very much like what we just did for our problem of the day. All right, only this time it tells us at the top what we need to do. We're going to subtract two. You have five and you're going to subtract two. Here we go. Five. Take away two. One, two. What's left? Three. All right. We have four. We're going to subtract two. Here we go. Four. Take away one, two. How many are left? Two. We have three. We're going to subtract two. Here's three, take away two. One, two, what's left? One. We have two, we're going to subtract two. Two, take away two, zero. Now, let's look over here and just think a second. This is called the rule. Up at the top, the rule tells us what we need to do, all right? Every time we needed to subtract two. We did the same thing to each number. We subtracted two, subtracted two, subtracted two, subtracted two. All right, that is the rule. Okay, now look down here at the bottom. I thought this was important enough I wanted to type it up. Being able to complete a table like this helps us see a pattern when the same number is subtracted from a group of numbers. All right, so we subtracted two each time. Well, first let's look at these numbers over here. Read them for me. Five, four, three, two. Hmm. We subtract, this is one, this is one less than this. This is one less than this. This is one less than this. All right, when we subtract two from all these numbers, our answer, this is one less than this, this is one less than this, this is one less than this. Well, there's a pattern. This is like walking downstairs. Five, four, three, two. This is two, three, two, one, zero. There's a pattern to this. So, being able to follow the rule and complete the table helps us see that there's a pattern when the same number is subtracted from a group of numbers. We subtracted two every time. Okay, so now we're going to practice with some tables, okay? Up here it says the rule is subtract two. So I subtract two from each number. 10 subtract two is eight. Eight subtract two is six. Six subtract two is four. All right, so we're going to come down here and do it. What is the rule in this table? Subtract how many? One. Seven, subtract one. So we can just count backwards, because you know we count backwards every day. Start on seven. Seven, six. It's just the next number when you're counting backwards. That's how you subtract one. All right, five. What's the next number you say when you count back? Four. Three. Subtract one. What do you say next? Two. 
Now, if you can't remember, you could say five take subtract one. What's left? Four. Seven subtract one. What's left? Six. Three subtract one. What's left? Two. But you can subtract one by just counting back one number. Now, we can't do this by counting back. That's too many to count back. We don't want to do that. We want to um, use another strategy for that. The rule for this one is subtract five. I do not recommend subtracting more than three by counting back. Okay, what I would do is um, one of two things. Hold up ten and take away five or Start with five and count up to ten. That's my preferred strategy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, look, I still have five fingers. So that is the answer. Ten take away five is five. Because see, that saves you a step from having to do ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I've got to take away five. One, two, three, four, five. Now I've got to count how many i got. One, two, three, four, five. See, it's just easier to start with the little number and count up to the big number. All right, so start with five and count up to nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stop. How many fingers is that? Four. That's the fastest way to do it. Five, count up to eight. Five, six, seven, eight. How many? Three. All right, the rule was subtract five. Now, I could do nine, take away five, leaves four. That's one way to do it. But the easiest way to do it is to start with the little number and count up to the big number. Okay, you can do that with this one. Subtract three. Start on three and count up to five. Three, four, five. Stop. How many fingers are you holding up? Two. Three, count up to six. Do it with me. Three, four, five, six. How many? Three. Six minus three is three. Five minus three is two. Seven minus three, let's start on three and count up. Three, four, five, six, seven. How many? Four. Seven minus three is four. Okay? Now, if you subtract zero, are you subtracting anything? Nope. Just keep what you got. 5 minus 0, 5 don't take anything away, it's going to be 5. 7 don't take anything away, it's going to be 7. 9 don't take anything away, it's going to be what? Put it. Now, you finish these up. Start with this number and count till you get to that number. Hold up a finger every time you say a number and then check how many fingers you got. That's your answer. Okay. We're going to do the same thing here. Complete the tables. Now, down here we're going to work together. It says subtract blank. Uh-oh. Well, you know what? That's not going to be a problem for us because we did the problem of the day, and it was just like this. Uh, how many did I have to take away from 7 to get to 5? Start on 5 and count up. 5. Six, seven. All right, that was two. I'm going to just put a little two right here. Start with three and count up to five. Three, four, five. Two. Mmm, this is looking good. Start with one and count to three. One, two, three. Oh, so what's the rule? Subtract what? Two. Because seven take away two leaves five. Five take away two leaves three. Three take away two leaves one. Okay? Over here, same thing. Start with this number and count up to this one. Five, six. Okay? That's one. Start on three and count up to four. Three, four. One. Start on one and count up to two. One, two. I got one finger up. So what's my rule? Subtract one. Because six minus five is one. Four 
4 minus 3 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Up here it tells you the rule. You just work it out. Okay. Now, independent practice. Over here, it says follow the rule. Solve the problem. Cross out the pictures to help. 3 minus how many equals 1? Well, it tells you. The rule is 2. You got 3. Take away 2. So we put 2 here. We mark out 2 here. And then we count what's left. 1. Okay, let's do the next one. 4 subtract 2. So we're going to mark out 2. We're taking away 2. How many are left? 2. Alright, you're going to do that for all the rest of these. Now look over here. This is going to be a piece of cake because we practiced how to do this already. Look. If you've got two and it says subtract two, but we don't know what goes right here, what you're going to do is you're going to add two plus two and get four. You're going to add three plus two and get five because addition and subtraction are opposites. If we don't know what the big number is, the only thing we have to do is add the two small numbers to find out what the big number is. And the big number is the number you have to have when you subtract. You have to have that first. Okay? The big number goes first. So, 3 plus 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 goes here. 4, add 2 more. 4, 5, 6. 5 plus 2, 5. Six, seven. All right? Now, if you say seven, take away two. Take away two. You have five. Addition and subtraction are opposites. And when you are missing the big number in a subtraction problem, just add the two little numbers. That's how I check. Now, see, uh, ladies and gentlemen have to have a checkbook. And they have to keep up with how much money they have in the bank. And so when I need to check to see if I know how much money I have in the bank, I have to add back to see if I have the right amount when I've subtracted. So let's just say 6 minus 2 is 4. Well, I better just check that. So I'm going to add these two numbers to see if I get that. 4 plus 2, let me check, 4, 5, 6. What do you know? That's right. So these are opposites. Adding is the opposite of subtracting. If we don't know what number to put here, what number to start with, we take this number and this number to get the big number. When you subtract, the big number is first. See, we're subtracting and we've got six here. Two is a little number, and four is a little number. And when I say little number, I mean less than this. Okay? So, in order to find out the big number, I can just add these two numbers, which is what I did right here. So, if we're missing the big number, take this number and this number and add it to get what goes here. This number and this number will give you the big number. Every one of these... You add this number in this column to the rule, and that gives you what was put in there. Okay. All right, boys and girls, this is exciting. I love doing this. Please don't forget, do reflex math. I promise it's worth it.